uh, have many goals, like, like, like break your goal down into digestible chunks. Uh, you know, I can't tell you how many times I hear from people who tell me that they have a business idea that's going to make a billion dollars. And I think that's really great. But don't, I don't really want to hear a lot about how you're going to make a billion dollars when you haven't made 10. Uh, how about you tell me about a business plan that will generate a thousand dollars a month in free cash flow. And then you turn the thousand dollars a month into two thousand. And then you turn the two into four and the four into 10. And next thing you know, you're, you're on your way to be, becoming a millionaire billionaire. Uh, when you take those big giant leaps, it can become very demoralizing. You know, if you set this big gigantic goal and then you don't even make any progress, you know, you're going to be like, man, I might as well give up. But, you know, well, that's, you know, that's not the case. You got to set many goals, you know? And so what I literally actually do is um, I break my day into 20 minute chunks. I, I tell myself, I say, okay, boys, we don't have to conquer the whole world now because it feels very overwhelming right now. Let's just focus on this one thing for the next 20 minutes. Let's sit down at... Uh, at 1131 Central Time and do this podcast and finish it by 1151. And then we'll worry about the rest after the podcast is over. Do you understand? Break it into bite-sized chunks so you don't drive yourself crazy because everybody goes through it. I get depressed sometimes and I think about all the stuff. You have no idea what my life looks like. I look at my phone. I got 85 text messages that with people saying, boys, I need to talk to you. Boys, can I get to the, boys, can I get that? And everybody's reaching out asking for something. Ain't nobody offering nothing. Everybody's asking for something. And I'm like, I tell my wife, I say, I'm drained. I can't keep doing stuff for people. Yeah, I hate this. I don't even want to look at my phone. And then I look at my email, a ton of emails. And then there's like Facebook messages. And then there's like all this other stuff that I want to do. And then the kids, and then the wife, and then the blah, blah, blah. And then I got to go work out. It's a lot. It's a lot. My point is to say, break it into little pieces. Just do the next thing. That's it. Just commit to doing the next thing and then can commit to doing the thing after that and the thing after that. That compartmentalization, if you can pull that off, is extremely beneficial to keep you from feeling like you have to go, you know, swallow the world all at one time. It's very, very draining to think that way.